my name is Ningile Egnabuhali, reporting for Global Gold Media. This week we're reporting from the Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah, where we'll be asking different people their perspective on film, photography, directing, producing, and a whole lot more. And when we were here, I was on a mission to find out what these stars thought that young people should take from these documentaries and from just in general all these films. Mainly we'll be focusing on women who've had an impact in changing the film industry. Let's see what they have to say. I think we're looking to, we're always looking to be as diverse as possible in the voices, voices that we present. And we need to be reflective of the society that we're in because we feel, you know, oftentimes the mainstream commercial media doesn't necessarily re reflect the diversity of our culture, whether it's about women or, or you know, any other uh, nature of diversity. Working with a team of just women, how, how is that? Because it's very, it seems very empowering. Yeah, I, I love working with women and I, I try to hire women as much as possible when I have choices in different departments on crews. We just came from a panel, Women in Film, and uh, the one woman cinematographer said it so beautifully, she doesn't pay attention. Uh, if I focus on the difficulties that I have as a woman cinematographer, and my friends that are directors, women directors, have the same uh, challenges, you know, I. I think it's very backward thinking and I need to be forward thinking. You know, back in the days of silent films, there were lots of women in positions of power. They ran studios, they wrote screenplays, they were, but as soon as the size of the budgets went up and as soon as consolidation started, the women were pushed out. So you have some film industries like in France where there's lots of women, directors, producers, where women are actors all through their life. You know, Jean Moreau and Catherine Deneuve are still starring in films. Okay, so being a young lady, I see that there is change, but it's just not happening today. Right. What motivates you to keep pushing for this cause? Well, that reason that it's not happening quick enough. You know, uh, we, at my institute, we studied 20 years of family films, for, uh, as far as gender is concerned, from 1990 till the present, and we found that the increase in the percentage of female characters is less than one percent. What keeps me motivated is, to, is having other people who share these values and who I see a lot. I got an idea of what kind of stories I wanted to say, whose side in the world I was on, that's important. It's one whose side in the world you're on, whose side in the world you're on, and elect those, try to elect those, allow those to reflect the work that I do. The, we still have problems with equal rights and uh, people don't think about it that way. Um, so it's really important to educate people. These four days here at Sundance have been incredible but freezing. And I met people that I would have never thought I would have met, like Robert Redford. I'm very hopeful, uh, and I'm not just saying this because I'm sitting here with you. I'm very optimistic about the role that women can play in, in our society. Now's the time. There are stories to be told. And I think a woman's point of view is extremely valuable. And sometimes it's a little different than other points of view, but it's very valuable. So um, my name is Susie, and I am the program manager for Luna Fest, which is a traveling film festival of short films directed by, for, and about women. If Main Street is really the streets of hope, then I'm hopeful to have met Kesha. She's going to tell us more, more than I really need to know. Can you please tell me what you do? Well, we are an all-female company that have launched, or we're launching in February, actually. We've designed a bunch of charms that go on silly bands, but they can also go on your zipper, go on a handbag. They're there to adorn the things that you have, and each charm has a meaning, and it's a piece of goodwill, and we're hoping that people will give them to themselves, but also to their friends as a little message of hope or love. Go. Go, go, go global girl. Go Global Girl. <laughs> go Global Girl Media. I've got two little girls and this is really wonderful you guys are doing this. Go Global Girl. 
I want to say thank you so much for being a global girl journalist. We need you. The story of the world is not complete without your story, without your eyes and seeing through your eyes. And it's, a, it's I feel it's an awesome responsibility that we have as journalists, is to bring out those voices so that everyone can hear them. Hi, Global Girl. I just want to encourage all of you all around the world in what you're doing. I'm so excited about it and proud of you, and it's really definitely going to make a change, so keep at it. I'm looking forward to my future because I'm sure it's about to shine. I met a whole lot of other famous women that really inspired me. And to them, they better watch out because Global Girl is here to take this space with me along on board. This is Jessica Cueva reporting for Global Girl Media. This is our world and my voice. This is Lingel Buhali reporting for Global Girl Media. This is our world and my voice.